Right, as we said, setup wise for me, very, very good. You can see obviously a good golf. We've been playing at a good level for a long time. Nice sort of relaxed posture, arms hanging down. Most of your things there, pretty much spot on, okay? Not too bad. I mean, you could argue, I mean, probably the, the impression you've got just as a sort of slight curve in your back there, but that's going to be a natural thing. For me, the angles I'm looking for from shoulder to hip. Are they in line with a spine angle there, 90 degrees of the shaft? And you pretty much got that. Okay. okay. So there's a little slight, slight curve. Mm. Everyone's got a slight curve in their back, and they sort of mm. military and really all sort of <laughs> three backs, all sort of shoulders back kind of thing. Mm. There's a bit of a curve. But I think for me, it's a very relaxed setup. It looks very sort of dynamic, and you can move there, and very good. The problem was before, as we said, the club was going back just a little bit too far inside, and therefore coming back on the wrong angle, mm. swinging too far into out. So the club here gets a little bit behind you. Mm. You sort of sway off the ball there with the head and the left arm gets quite low there. What we were saying is trying to get the club a little bit more upright and more in front of this backswing here. Now the club makes it a bit more in front of you there. Mm. Slightly more of a hinge of the wrist and that left hand now, you can see a little bit higher now with the left arm. Mm. Just a smidgen. And again, we don't make a massive change. We've been playing for 40 plus years. We're not going to make that big a change. But just a slight tweak here and there. Just more of a sort of feeling and a sensation. The club is more up to give you that chance to get the club back in. Then because the club was too far behind, and again, maybe the thought of swinging into that was sort of what you were trying to do and so on, as you come back to the golf ball, your club now into impact, got a little bit sort of stuck behind you here, we can see the club now on the frame, see the club now, when it's just sort of level below your hands there, it's too far on the inside, whereas this one here now, as we come back down, you can see now directly in line with the target line, so a very, very good position there. Okay. Oh, there you go. So that now is kind of where your swing is going to go towards. Just right a target so we can get a sort of nice soft draw. If we're coming in from here, it either goes there, you use too much hands, it goes over there, or you manage to time that. And from literally from 8.8 .8 on the camera to impact, 8 point, yes, not much time to sweat the club face up, is it? And trying to judge that at base part of 70 mile an hour in a split second. Right. It's going to be very, very sort of hit and miss. Some will be good when you're playing really well, and you'll shoot below on your handicap when it's not quite right. Your grindy game's a little bit off for the last few months. Mm. Your timing's gone a little bit, and you're trying to land a sort of flick with a hand or a roll with your forearms, as you said. Mm. Yeah, the club's all right. So from there, as the club starts going back more in front of you, mm. you can start striking the ground better. Nice sort of release and twist through. And what you might find, I know it's not great on Southern Down, the ball might go a little bit higher as well, a bit more sort of. I'm a bit more of a penetrating higher flight, not a loopy floaty yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. You're, not, you're not a low hit to be fair, you the ball quite high, but those last couple have been a bit more of a use yeah, the loft, a compress more, the ball. A bit more of penetration. And a bit more of a, more of a dynamic flight run. Sort of what I saw from him was a bit of a, whoop, of a loopy floppy one, yeah. rather more that that way. You might think it goes higher because you're getting more of a penetrating flight. At the end of the day, I always say, if you can hit the golf ball high, mm -hmm. you can always take more club grip down it to get the same distance but lower. So if you hit a 7 iron, say 150, mm. if you want to hit the ball lower, take a 5 iron, grip it down to a 9 iron length, mm. it goes a 7 iron length, 5 iron height. Mm. If you're a low ball fly hitter, you mm. can't take a more lofted club to get the higher shots and it won't get far enough. You can't make a, a 9 iron longer, can you? No. So if you hit the ball high or better flight, you can always manipulate the ball flight high and low and vary that depending on the conditions you're playing up around Southern Down. So, yeah. Summarise overall, though. Like, well, yeah, exactly. You get the ball nice and low and top, and it goes forever and a day. But the thing is, if your golf ball is coming in a bit too sort of yeah. hooky this way, the fairway gets quite narrow because the ball's going to be running into trouble all the time. Or you hit the ball out to the right, and you might catch the trouble on the right hand side. So a more direct hit is going to be much more of a, a favourable shot. So yeah. okay. does that make sense? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, good man. Okay.